<laughs> to have your say, give us a call. 03 717 right now. Uh, what about Jamie, the Man United fan? Can we talk to Jamie? Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Jamie. Morning, guys. You OK? Yeah, good. But if you're a United fan, you're saying, what the hell is going on here? Oh, it's a disaster at the club in a minute. It's, um, it's a sign of the times, though, isn't it? It's like, just, it's, it's, just, um, it's just common with United to have these problems. So many eyes on us. and it, It's not... It's not it, it happened with Southgate as well, I believe. He, um, I think he put out the same quote about uh, Sancho not training well. But it's went under the radar. But with everything else at United, it's blown up massive. Yeah. Uh, social media has got a lot to answer for me, hasn't it? You know, I'm I'm not a fan, to be honest. Yeah, again, United. You know, there's, there's, there's Greenwood, there's Anthony, there's Sancho. It, it, every week, you know, we're trying to get back on track, and, and the Glazers as well in the background. Um, it's just week after week disaster. But and week this week. is not an easy game at the weekend, Jimmy, is it? No, um, I mean, I was hoping that dip from Brighton. Um, was it against West Ham? Would be um, would be a bit more of a permanent thing, but they'll probably bounce back better than we can. Um, but it's United. United just going to trickle along and, until they, they get their issues sorted. Um, and uh, Sancho's just another one of those big big money names that have, have come through the door, like Pogba. And I, I just I just worry that the wages is um, is something that takes a bit of the the effort out of them. Jamie, aren't you worried about? The amount of signings Manchester United are making and they're depreciating. I mean, Sancho was bought for 73 million two years ago. What's he worth now? Making him train on his own, going to depreciate even more. You could end up only get, um, getting rid of him on a loan in January. So, aren't you worried that as well, the amount of wingers that you have available now? Well, I mean, first of all, I think that it sh- it, Palestri should get a chance. Um, he's, he has shown it in, in like little little trickles what he can do and, and he, he's had no real starts for United but he is a an international player um, he's getting he's getting minutes there so I, I hope he gets the chance but United are trying to play catch up with City and they've, they've done it in the splashing cash on big names and it hasn't worked and, and I think a lot of United fans are just happy that Ten Hag's bringing in a, a new approach and he's trying to get some workhorses in there and some solid solid players and build some foundations instead of just going for you know Pogba's and Sanchez and Sancho's and spending 80 90 million and it just be wasting money they either go for free or they go for very little yeah um, just disappointing. Now, it is Jamie, thank you. Cheers, Don't forget, Jamie. Man United host Brighton tomorrow on the Premier League Live and exclusive on Talk Sport 2. Let me take one quick last one. Neil, the Man United fans on the line. Neil, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Neil. Morning, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Yeah, no, I was just uh, calling to talk about the whole kind of Sancho thing and also the Maguire thing as well. Um, with Sancho, I mean, it's been tough because... United have been criticised since Ferguson's left for lack of discipline. You know, everyone, the player, player power has been quite, quite strong. Um, you know, I don't see how so many exceptions should be made for Sancho when Rashford, you know, when he was disciplined, when Kanachi was disciplined. I just don't see how we can make one rule for one and another rule for another. And in terms of Ten Hag, if he's trying to build something, bringing Sancho back into the first team, first team training when such a public dispute has occurred, I, I, I just think Ten Hag would lose all credibility for himself. Yeah. Neil, thank you. Neil, the Man United fan there. Can you imagine, look, I know the game has changed. Imagine Fergie. What Fergie do? Well, it wouldn't, I don't think it would happen in the first place, to be honest. Um, I don't think players would um, have done that to Fergie. And speaking to Youngie, I mean, he's still scared of him now. Ask Youngie, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think Fergie would have probably chased him around the changing room. Yeah. And some of the managers you played under, I'm sure, wouldn't have had that. Oh, would they? Absolutely, you know. Finish. See you later. Is he last one, Gab? Yeah. Has Sancho got a future at United, or is it over? I don't think so. I think it's best for the club and for the player for him to move on. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil, Thursday and Friday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.